My name is David J.P. Phillips. I'm a public speaker and I am here to give you loads of ideas, advice and knowledge on how to become an even better presenter and public speaker. And we are learning from the best. It is the absolute hero and legend, the king of internet. PewDiePie! We gotta ask ourselves this question. Why is PewDiePie the king? Why is PewDiePie the best? Why is he the legend? Why has he got so many more views than anybody else? He's not driving around in Lamborghini, he's not throwing money at people, he's just him. It's just him and a camera and it's been like that for 10 years. Now I wanna have a look at his first video and then have a look at the next video coming up to see is he the, still the same guy? So this is gonna be exciting, this is his first video. How's it going everyone? PewDiePie here. PewDiePie! Have you heard that one before? PewDiePie! He keeps doing that, he's been doing that for 10 years, he's changing his voice, modulating it to a higher register, being that kind of playful guy. I usually take a break from all electronics or whatever just because the internet here is so oh, did you see that beautiful uh, double shoulder shrug <laughs> that is a very very unusual thing that public speakers and presenters do and usually when they're synchronized that is associated to being truthful in what you're saying sometimes you can see one shoulder shrug it can be associated to not being entirely uh, truthful or honest about what you're saying. But obviously he is. Double shoulder shrug of PewDiePie, I love it. Oh, I gotta carry on. Much information. <laughs> oh! The PewDiePie, PewDiePie, self laughter. Did you hear it? It's been going on for 10 years. He's still doing it. I can promise you. We're gonna have a look at the new video in just a moment, but it's his thing. The beautiful thing with a, with a self laughter like that, <laughs> is that it increases anticipation of what's gonna come. And you think that whatever is going to come is more fun. So he is actually planting fun into your brain, whether you want it or not. I, I got a job, uh, support captain. He's got a job. Uh, so Good if you, you call me Captain Pewdie. Smoking captain my Pewdie. No, okay, oh, I did don't you miss. see that? That is called an imaginary prop. And what's interesting with that is that this is him, this is 10 years ago, he is not a public speaker, he's not a presenter, but even the professional ones, they haven't got to this level where they're using imaginary props. Maybe they're using props like this, they're showing something on stage, but using imaginary props is not in their repertoire. Add that to your repertoire, it'll really enhance your public speaking. Oh, you can go there and they'll be like, no, I don't want to be there. And I'm like, you better fucking go. With okay, anyway. <laughs> Using role play as well. He's gotten better at this, I think, but using different voices can I? Yes, you gotta go there. No, I'm gonna go there. Yes, I'm gonna go to there. No, I'm gonna go there. And whenever you're in a public speaking situation, use role play like this with different kind of voices on stage. Oh, it's amazing. Again, it's a high level public speaking skill. Using gestures, <laughs> That's smiling. That's not people, by the way. Those are, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, it's it's Okay, let's have a look at the filler sound thing. Um, why is he doing it? It could be of two reasons. I believe that he's not aware of that he's doing it. The cool thing with filler sounds is that if they are functional, i.e. you want to for some reason make it crystal clear that you're coming to a point or that you, you want to signal that you're nervous, you want to signal that you're uncertain, you want to signal that you are super present, then you can add a filler sound functionally for that. In all other circumstances, just kill them, eradicate them, not let them be in your head but I want to keep uploading videos because I think it's a lot of fun and I'm gonna miss you guys and I just look at this as soon as he says uh, I'll be missing you or he talks to us in one way or another he tilts his head just slightly a couple of degrees to the left we tend to do that when we want to show empathy for something if your rabbit died I'll go oh that's too sad why I want to point this out is, is because this guy is synchronized what I mean with that is that there are five levels of synchronicity in your communication. Number one, gestures. Number two, body language. Number three, voice. Number four, language. And number one, five, facial expressions. If you are synchronized in all five, when saying something, it increases the credibility of whatever you're saying. This guy is its just a natural when it comes to communication. Question is, is he still the same PewDiePie then as he is now? This is 10 years later. Welcome everyone to Floor Gang. Flurgen, 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 Flurgen. 
It's ah, language change again. Boom, already after nine seconds, he's doing exactly one thing the same as he did previously in 10 years ago. It was accident. People are like, oh, there's a conspiracy. He's doing it to promote black ups. No, I'm just an idiot, okay? Every conspiracy around me can be summarized. I'm an idiot. <laughs> like, I was gonna private it ah! right. Did you see that? That's him again 10 years later. And I bet we're gonna hear a register pitch up as well. Poots is back in the line, so I'm posting my setup. God damn! Dude, that's cool. What? I told you so! Did you hear that register increase? This is PewDiePie for us. And the question then, does he still have that synchronicity going for him? Damn! Dude, that's cooler than my setup. That's not fair. This is, this is freaking brilliant. You know that he's three times displayed a sense of underdog or displayed a sense of weakness. He did it now, that's better than my setup. Yes, that news did happen. And all conspiracy theories around me, I am an idiot. Uh, admitting or showing a weakness uh, increases the level of serotonin in the other person. They, they connect with you in a different way. Just laying yourself out there, showing that you are so much human that you can admit your weaknesses like that, that really connects us to him. Maybe that's part of his magic spice, magic formula. We're a peaceful religion. Everyone will join and anyone that doesn't will die. Okay? I'm not threatening. But subscribe, no bell notification. Come on, 11%. <laughs> boom, boom. <sighs> Did you remember the pipe that he smoked in the first one? This is again, imaginary props. That's my reaction. Spit on you. There is a skill called full out. Just playing it full out. Obviously, spitting on yourself would be defined as a full out skill. Damn. Uh, first aid kit, you're welcome. Saves life. Uh, the. This is so beautiful. Do you remember the video that he recorded 10 years ago? He had about 20 to 25 um, filler sounds. I would guess that loads of those were not consciously put there. He is so much more skilled. He knows exactly what he's doing. It's like he's gone to a presentation skills and communication skills coach because there are very few instances when you can add a filler sound and this is one example of those. So look at this, he's using them. It's life, uh, the wrench, uh, you're welcome, saves life. Uh. Just by effect, just by effect. And they're perfectly placed there. I think we've nailed it, guys. I think we've nailed it. Why is PewDiePie such an absolute success? One, he is super humble. In more than five different ways did he show weaknesses during this four minute analysis of this video. Number two, he's got his register changes. Number three, he's got all the variation spicing as I call it, which he uses himself. He's not just using visual effects and sound effects, he's using himself with different spices. Words, changing language, changing voice. He doesn't need anything more than a camera, a microphone, some video editing, and he's got 100 million viewers or 100 million subscribers. And I can just say this, I have been doing public speaking for so long, for 20 years. I have still got so much to learn from him. And this is an entirely new arena for me as well, doing reaction videos like this. I hope you like them, I hope you love them. Uh, but I've got loads to learn from him and I am here to learn it because I want to become as excellent as this dude is at this profession and career. Wow. Thumbs up to you, mate. Hey, who do you want to learn from next? Submit your favorite video and ask me why that person is so absolutely excellent or terrible at what they're doing. I would prefer excellent because I love learning from great examples, but obviously we can pick out whatever they're doing, which they could learn from or you could learn from as well. So submit your favorite video down here and we'll be happy to include that in the coming We'll be happy to include that in the coming video reactions.